ShapeScale is presenting. Presenting for ShapeScale are our co-founders, Alex Weinberg and Martin Kessler. Take it away. Hey, hi, I'm Alex. This is Martin, and we are Shape. I thought that I was not overeating during the holiday season, but then I stepped on my skill, and he told me that I gained five pounds. Are you serious? Five pounds? I could not see that when I was looking at myself in the mirror. And every day, countless people have this problem. Countless people exercise and diet. They are getting in a better shape. Yet, or like me, in a worse shape. Yet, they come home and look at themselves in the mirror and can't see any changes. That sucks, right? And it's to show you those changes that we have created shape skill. Shape skill is the first bathroom skill that captures your body in three dimensions. You simply step on it, and it will digitize your body shape in just 30 seconds. Let me explain you how it works. You have a robotic arm that rotates the sensor head that sweeps your body to 3D scan you. At the same time, a camera takes hundreds of pictures, slice and stitch them to create a photorealistic texture. Now let's switch back to the presentation. The depth sensor data is accurate to a millimeter. Because of that, we can take precise body measurements. And because we know your volume and your weight, we can calculate your localized lean mass and body fat. So let's have a look at what that actually means for you and jump into the app. After a couple of minutes, you will get your body model. And I can tell you, you have simply never seen your body like that. So, for the first time, you will be able to see yourself as other people see you. So Martin, my co-founder, is more serious than me, and he's seriously getting ripped. But there's a problem with that, is that lean mass takes less volume than body fat. So as we can see here in the app, his weight stays the same. So the scale cannot tell you anything. But shape scale can tell you this that Martin has lost fat around his belly area, and that his lean mass in the upper body has actually increased. He's really getting ripped. I wish that was my data. And as we can see, that correlates into his girth measurements. His biceps increase as well as his chest, while his hips and waistline decrease. But it gets better than that. Actually, Martin could have spotted all those changes without looking at a single number. And that's called the heat map view. The heat map view shows you the difference in volume with colors. So we can actually see at a glance that the red is the increase and that the blue is the decrease. And we also have a more detailed difference view where you will be able to track your goal. It's so visual. That's exactly what you need to achieve your goal. And you know, it matters not only for people who are getting in a better shape. It matters also for people that are getting in a worse shape. You know, it happens to everyone. Life gets in the way, or you know, you just want to let it go and you know, take a break for the holiday. Well, ShapeScale will tell you if you go into excess and if you're about to change your pen size and order a whole new wardrobe. <laughs> and people need that. OK, let's switch back to the, to the presentation. For 200 years, we have been using the scale. And it doesn't work. It's time to change the status quo with heat maps, different views, and all these new metrics that matters to you. Shapescale will finally, you will finally understand 
how your body shape changed over time and see where you are gaining fat or losing muscle, or losing muscle and gaining fat. So let's, people need that. We have made a short video to show a little bit of what shape skill could do, and it went viral. 45,000 people have shared it on social network, and millions have seen it. Now we have 70,000 people that have signed up in our waiting list. And ShapeScale is not just a hardware product. It's an enabler. It will enable people to craft more personalized and efficient dieting plan and exercise plan. But it doesn't stop there. It's not only fitness. Imagine what you can do once you have an accurate avatar of yourself. You can use it in games. You can use it to try clothes before you buy them online, or even in VR social networks. We are going to launch the ShaveScale pre-order in a couple of weeks. It will happen exclusively on ShaveScale.com. And it will be just for $3.99. So if you want to have the special discounted pricing, just head up straight to shapescale.com slash CES and sign up. All right, judges, who, what do you guys think? Uh, anyone want to try it out? <laughs> you want to get up there? Um, I, first of all, the, the, way that it scanned, the way that it scanned looked really seamless and, and beautiful and really cool. And actually, at the end, when you mentioned its other use cases, like an avatar in VR trying to unclose virtually, those sound like real appealing use cases. I'm curious, how big is the market of people, like the Tim Ferrisses of the world who want to hack the shit out of their body, mm -hmm. versus, you know, like if I see a millimeter difference, which would obviously be a negative millimeter probably in my fitness scenario, but how many people really care about that level of detail? Oh, people care about this level of detail because you want like to have they a... I'm sorry, I just want to say, they care like, I don't want to have a double chin, so now I'm going to work out and hopefully my chin goes oh. down. But do they care like I have well, one millimeter less of lean fat yeah, in my get, tricep? So there are two answers to that. The first one is just go on the viral video and check what people are saying. They just, they, just, they just want it. The other thing is the feedback loop. That's what gets you going. You, you exercise, you need feedback. And you want this feedback loop to be short. And the millimeter accuracy is important because you can start to see changes right after two or three days. We, we tested it, and that's really important because you don't see those changes on the scale on a regular scale, but you can see them on shape scale. Or even on the mirror. Like When you look in the mirror, you cannot see them because you see yourself every day and you, see, you don't see those small changes because they're just too small for the bare eye. But we really show it by augmenting your body. So, so when, you, when you walk through this place, like I walk through it, there's a smart pillow place. Measure your pillow. I said, what do I need to measure on a pillow? And she says, well, you got to measure how much your head moves and whether or not you're really getting sleep based on your head. Then there's a smart bed person right next to them. Smart scale. There's like the smart, you know, how, how, how many G-forces you can have by jumping. So I, I guess as a consumer sort of looking at all this, like you were sort of saying, you know, all this information data is coming, or all this data is coming. And, and when, when do you translate it into real useful? I mean, how do you use that information? That's what I, so it, like you were saying, if it's a millimeter, centimeter changes in your bias. So what am I going to do with that? That's what I, I guess well, I would have. Today, you just cannot understand what happens. Yeah. So it's as simple as that. You, you step on the scale, you weigh the same, and you just don't know. Was I doing right? Was I doing wrong? Should I more exercise? Should I, or on the other side, care more about what I eat? And that's exactly yeah. what you can see and give people feedback. So there's this, it's right now, we're really focusing on giving people the metrics that they care about and that can transform their user experience. But then afterwards, we can actually, that's what we want to do. We can personalize and tell them what they need to do in order to reach their goal. And everyone has, has a goal, you know, you're like, yeah, you like. We, you, we you actually want to move away yeah. a little bit from the data because when somebody says they want to lose 20 pounds, they, they have actually more like a body in mind that they want to achieve. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know, I want to look like how I looked during my wedding 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. And they have that goal in mind. Mm -hmm. They don't actually care so much about the data. They just know the data will get them there. And we want to move away by visualizing your body. I, I, I think, though, they're just the, uh, I'll let you go and say, I, I just think the, it's real important. Because I think what happens is it looks really cool and all that. 
and how do you prevent it from being gimmicky where people are, okay i get it and i do it for two weeks yeah i think you know translating it, it, that data into something of actionable is, is real important it's now. exactly what you're saying that's why we're going to have actually a, a beta program and we already had like alpha programs where we testing live with people and it's very important for us our goal is to change the life of people and so everything is in the user experience the data is meaningless if it doesn't change the way you do things, or if, if it doesn't inform you about the way you are doing things. So, yeah, it's, it's one or, yeah, it's exactly we understand, what you were describing, we right? understand that that's what will make us successful, is, is not actually having a gimmick, it's having something that will change the way you do something. So, my first question is, where is the model generated? Is it generated on the tablet or in the cloud? So, uh, it's part, part. So, so yeah. my next question is, is then how do you protect the user's privacy? Because I sure. bet you the first thing a user's going to do is get on there naked. Um, Definitely. So we, we really actually, it's very important the user privacy. And we intend to have option to anonymize the data if you don't want to actually send it or if you, if you want to keep it for yourself. The thing is, is that you every day use your phone and it will sync to iCloud. So you have also a lot of very personal moments that are on the cloud. And they give you convenience. So you have to choose at some point yeah, is the convenience But don't, don't you also risk, if there's children in the home, mm -hmm. uh, putting data out there that is potentially very bad? Um, and how are you going to secure that data? I mean, there is a difference to people finding out that I'm listening to Britney Spears versus finding like a, a nude scan. <laughs> yeah. With millimeter accuracy. Totally, totally <laughs> agree. I mean, it's very important to us. We deeply care about that, and we will ensure that the, the privacy and the security of our user will be respected. Yeah, and we will work with people to understand what are they afraid of to, to overcome that and, and make it work. And, and real, lastly, real quick. Right. What, what, lightning round. Lightning round. Um, what's the, how long does it actually take from start to finish, so I get scan, analyze? Because yeah. the feedback cycle on stepping on a scale is almost immediate, which is yeah. why people mm -hmm. like it. So there you will, you will already have some immediate feedback like on the actual scale, but the processing of the scan, it takes between 15 to 20 minutes right now. But we intend to actually lower that time. Yeah. Cool. All right, Thank you. Give, it up. Yeah. give it up for Shape Scale. Great Woo. work, guys. Thank you. Thanks. All right, Bloom Life is coming up. They're going to set up uh, judges. I mean, so you didn't, no one wanted to like, have their That's model different flashed different. on stage. Would anyone actually yeah. try this out? I, I retired from the model business a while ago, so. I didn't, but you know, Jonathan. That was before Quicken. Yeah, that was definitely before. So, what, are you? Uh, well, I, I actually, I thought it was really interesting how they brought up the use cases of like VR avatars and trying on clothing at home. Um, I, th those, I think, are are more appealing than this uh, this trend of like did, micro. Did, did we hear who the seventy thousand was that waiting list for buying the scales? I, I didn't understand. That's what I assumed, but I, we don't I know. So yeah, we'll double check that when we go back to Okay. Melody, what did you think? I might try it out once, see if it actually works. I mean, I've seen a couple things like this come and go, and if it worked, maybe. So, I mean, you guys also brought up privacy and security, and they said, well, we're going to, like, this is going to be important to us. That's something we're going to take care of. How hard is it for, like, a company to actually, like, to go from, like, yeah, you're right, that is, like, something important to, like, is, I mean, is that, like, much easier said than done, I would imagine? I, I don't know. It depends on it depends on a couple things. It depends on the company's dedication to even thinking about security and and this is a pretty important case where you would really want security. <laughs> um, yeah, it's pretty risky. Oh, we, being, being in the national home lending business, so we get more information and private information on people than you know, anybody except maybe a blood test or a urine test or something, right? So I mean, we know how much money you make. How much money you have in the bank, your credit, where you live, and so we actually pay security firms to break into us um, on an ongoing basis. I mean, different, literally, to come in physically break in, and I, you know, I think companies. That, the only way you're ever going to know is if you get somebody from the outside to legitimately try to break you, um, because otherwise, it's a false. You're in a false kind of world. Because then you're only protecting for the things that you already have you thought of yourself, but those aren't going to be the weaknesses anyway. 